Hello, this is composer and French artist Richard Burdick, and today I'm working on my horn. Uh, it's made by Alexander about 1971. It's a prototype for the 203ST. Um, it's a double horn, but it has an ascending valve. So a normal valve here, you put this valve down, it lowers or lengthens the horn by a half step. This lengthens it by a whole step. This shortens it by a whole step, which means the airflow through this valve is flowing unless you put the valve down. Then it shuts the valve down and makes the airflow flow across. Um, the result is this horn is a consistent blowing or it has a consistent back pressure, which is really fun to play. Um, it's a beast in tuning. There's like three, there's a main slide, this is an F slide, F tuning slide, this is an F tuning slide, there's a B flat tuning slide, and at the moment, this um, third space C sharp, the only way I can get it in tune, I'm used to playing it in trigger two, three, but that's really sharp. So I have to use F horn for that, which complicates the fingerings. Um, the G sharp right below that, trigger two, or, and then the low C sharp. The only way I can get it, and I haven't figured it other way out, is just the two and three on the F horn, and it's flat. So there's some adjustments that I have to make to play this in public, but I'm enjoying playing it because it's so much fun. Um, here is my horn solo I wrote July 30th, 2012, uh, titled Horn Solo, Opus 189D. I'll put it on my website. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Anyway, I'm enjoying playing this horn, and thanks for watching today. Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> 